It's something that we enjoy. It's something that we love to do. When you're more dancing, it just feels right. It just really helps me express my emotions, and I just I just feel alive every time I dance. It's just about being with people who just really share a passion with you, and I think that's something we can all get behind. It's beautiful. Hello, my name is Michael Skerritt, and I'm a squire of Hookigal Morris. It's a Northwest Morris tradition originating in Shropshire, and it's exhilarating. About two years ago, we started the Morris Dancing extracurricular programme at Gresham's. Our goal is to raise the popularity of Morris Dancing as a serious sport, drink tea with friends, dance our socks off, and have a smashing time. The Hook Eagle Morris Dancing Squadron of Gresham School is made up of four devoted Morris dancers. First in the squad is Hook Eagle Squire Kaylee Nevin, aka the Stick Specialist. Kaylee's really good with a stick. What can I say? I'm just really good with sticks. I wasn't supposed to sound gay. Next in the squad is Hook Eagle Master Benjo, aka the Demolisher. Benji saw the muscle of the team. Uh, opponents generally seem to be intimidated by him. <laughs> I don't like losing, and I don't like losers. I'm meant to win it, buddy. Bring it. Next in the squad is Hook Eagle Squire Henry Anderson, aka the Ginger Teapot. He's a good Morris dancer, but he's an even better tea maker. He knows just how I like it. Marvellous. And finally, Hook Eagle Squire Michael Skerritt, aka Jingle Bell End. I'm just fantastic with bells! Not only is there the Hook Eagle Morris Dancing Squadron, there is also other strands of Morris Dancing within the Gresham's Morris Dancing community, such as the Spider-Man Morris Dancers. And not only do I love Morris Dancing, I also love Spider-Man. We do. So, you know, when you put the two together, you know, Morris Dancing and Spider-Man, it's great. Our two favourite things, and you, and you put them together. You get this. You're welcome. Well, the interesting thing about Spider-Man horse dancing is they actually they actually originated together. Not many people know this. King Edward the Fifth. He had the workers dress up as Spider-Man horse dancers because they helped morale. He was a massive fan of Spider-Man. King exactly. Edward the Fifth or Sixth. I don't think Spider-Man was around back then. I don't. I don't think that's true. He. He would. Say. He was. <laughs> uh, he would. Are you lifelong Spider-Man fans? Are you lifelong Spider-Man fans like us? It doesn't look like it because face paint. We're the ones with the face paint on, mate. You know, we are what we're talking about. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do get some negative feedback, obviously. You know, some naysayers, if you will. Uh, you know, that's just bound to happen. You know, that you get people all the time. Yeah. Spider-Man's gay. <laughs> Spider-Man and Morris dancing don't go well together, just, you know, just nonsense like that. Yeah. You know. But, you know, that's the reality, isn't it? You're always going to get people to go on you this, go on you that. Seeing that the Hook Eagle Morris dancers and the Spider-Man Morris dancers practice on the same field, there is a certain amount of tension between the rival teams. So what do you guys think about Spider-Man Morris dancers? They suck. I don't see why they thought the two would go together. It's not cool. Go back to Spider-Man, Dennis! I think they're the best. So what do you guys think of um, Hook Eagle? Who's, who's Hook Eagle? Hook Eagle. Yeah, they're so they're bad are. that we don't know who they are. <laughs> Hook Eagle, they're not really proper Morris dancers. It's not a real Morris dancing squadron like the Spider-Man Morris dancing is. And they're not very original, I'm going to be honest with you. Have you seen their footwork? Uh, no, I can't say it's, it's sloppy. Embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I mean, if I was in the Hook Eagle, I would probably kill myself. Or I'd become a Spider-Man Morse dancer. Break. Oh, yeah. Will's not really made for this sport. He just hasn't really got it. Like, 
This is not really made for Morris dancing. No matter what anyone says. No time for losers. No time for losers. No time for losers. So do you guys have um, many girlfriends? Oh, do you mean um, friends who are girls? No. No, no. Um, have, when was the last time you spoke to a girl? I haven't actually oh, ever yeah. talked to a girl. We do prefer boys, we just we just stick with each other really. Yeah. <laughs> Some say dogs are a man's best friend. I think man is man's best friend. So what's wrong with a uh, Hook Eagle Morris dancing group? What's right with Hook Eagle Morris dancing group? That's what I say, I always say that, yeah. I always say that. <laughs> <laughs> he stole that from me, yeah. As we uh, head into competition season, rehearsal's getting very intense. Take a stick up! Benji, it's getting a little bit mean. Do you want it? Yes. Do you want yes. it? Yes. Do you want yes. it? Yes. Ah! I'm to prove it. Yeah. So stretches are uh, stretches are really important. You got the leg stretch, calves. Yeah. Get more stance without calf muscles. That's for sure. Oh, watch out, Connor. My spider sense is tingling. Watch out for the cobwebs, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Benji, keep on! Hey! Do you want to go? No, not really. I do! No, Benji! I do! Okay, here we go! Yeah, let's do it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! So, can you tell us what just happened there? Basically, words were said, lances were drawn. You know, not real lances, but kind of, you know, pretend ones. So basically what's happening is Benji and the Hook Eagle have challenged us to a Morris dance off on the grass. It's not like the Spider and Morris dancers to shy away from a good battle. Am I right, Connor? You're damn right, George. two teams prepare for the Morris dance-off, they patiently wait for an appearance from the High Morris Judge. Okay, let's just go through some ground rules, Morris dancing uh, friends. I want a nice clean uh, set, a nice clean Morris dance. I don't want any hokey pokey. It's a beautiful thing, gentlemen, what you're going to do with your bells and your sticks and your hats. It's, it's part of our culture, our heritage. So if you're ready, let the Morris shenanigans commence. Uh, this is going to be really tough, you know, they've clearly been practicing a lot. Oh, whoa, did you see that Mayflower footwork there, Ned? I did, this is some quality Morris right here. Keep your eyes on the prize, boys. That is some good handkerchief work if I've ever seen it. I didn't even know it was possible with the right, realms the of Morris dancing. Oh my gosh. Get a camera out of my face! The Spider-Man Morris dancers deliver a convincing performance. Look at that, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> So did you guys win the Morris dance off? No. So we didn't. Then what happened? There was another team. Were they good? They were incredible.
So if you guys want to join us, join the uh, Spider-Man crew, you can, because we accept we accept everyone. Everyone. Except for girls. Yeah. Except for girls. Except for girls, because we much prefer boys. Yeah. We much prefer boys.